Yemen, a land of ancient wonders, a land of heartbreaking tragedy. Once it was a beacon of prosperity, a major hub on the ancient spice route. The aroma of frankincense filled its air. Today, the smell of gunpowder and suffering hangs heavy. This is the story of Yemen, a story of a nation's fall from grace, a story of a people's resilience in the face of unimaginable hardship. This is a story the world cannot ignore. Journey back in time to a land where history whispers through the sands. Imagine a land where towering structures scrape the sky, reaching towards the heavens. This was ancient Yemen, a place of architectural wonder and cultural richness, home to the mighty Sabaean Kingdom, a civilization that thrived in the heart of the Arabian Peninsula. The Sabaeans were masters of engineering, their skills evident in the remnants of their grand constructions. They built the Marib Dam, an architectural marvel of its time, showcasing their advanced understanding of water management and engineering. This ingenuity fueled their prosperity, turning Yemen into a thriving hub of commerce and culture. Yemen was a central point on the ancient incense route, a network of trade routes that connected the ancient world. Caravans laden with precious commodities like frankincense and myrrh traversed its lands, bringing wealth and influence. This trade brought immense wealth, filling the coffers of Yemeni merchants and rulers. It connected Yemen to the world, making it a pivotal player in the global trade networks of the ancient world. The echoes of this glorious past still resonate through the ruins and remnants scattered across the land. Though today, these echoes are muffled by the sounds of conflict, the spirit of Yemen's historic splendor endures, a testament to its enduring legacy and the resilience of its people. The winds of change brought new powers to Yemen's doorstep. The Ottoman Empire, then the British Empire, both left their mark. The Ottomans ruled for centuries. Their control, often contested, sowed the seeds of division. Then came the British. They carved out a sphere of influence in the south. Yemen became a pawn in a larger geopolitical game. This exploitation fueled resentment. It planted the seeds of future instability. The scars of colonialism ran deep. They continue to shape Yemen even today. The 20th century dawned with a yearning for freedom. As the first light of the new century touched the peaks and valleys of Yemen, a deep desire for self-determination began to stir in the hearts of its people. Yemenis, both in the north and the south, rose up against their colonial overlords. The struggle was fierce and filled with sacrifices, as men and women alike took to the streets, demanding their right to govern their own land. The north broke free from Ottoman rule celebrating their newfound independence with hope and determination. The streets were filled with joy, and the air was thick with the promise of a brighter future. The South, too, cast off the chains of British control. Two Yemens emerged, each with its own identity and aspirations. Their paths diverged, leading them in different directions, yet both shared a common goal of freedom. The North, however, was plagued by instability, Civil unrest and internal conflicts became a part of daily life, as various factions vied for power and control. The South, on the other hand, flirted with socialist ideals. Rallies and movements swept through the region, as people sought a new way of life, one that promised equality and justice. Despite their differences, a dream endured. The dream of a unified Yemen, where North and South could come together as one nation, persisted in the hearts of many. A dream of a unified Yemen, where the people could live in harmony and build a future together. This vision became a beacon of hope in a fractured region, a symbol of what could be achieved through unity. A beacon of hope in a fractured region, where the smiles of Yemeni children reflected the bright future that many believed was within reach. In 1990, that dream became a reality. The unification of Yemen was celebrated with great enthusiasm as people from both the North and the South came together to mark this historic moment. North and South Yemen merged, their leaders shaking hands and their flags intertwining, symbolizing the birth of a new, united nation. But this unity was fragile. The foundation of this new nation was built on unresolved tensions and deep-seated differences that could not be easily overlooked. Built on a foundation of unresolved tensions, the newly unified Yemen faced numerous challenges. 
Protests and conflicts continued to erupt as the dream of unity was tested by the harsh realities of political and social discord. Section 5. A Fragile Unity. Seeds of Conflict and Instability. Unification brought hope, but it also brought challenges. The merger of two different systems was fraught with difficulties. Economic woes plagued the newly unified nation. Poverty became widespread. Political rifts deepened. The seeds of discontent were sown. Foreign powers, sensing an opportunity, began to exert their influence. Yemen became entangled in a web of regional rivalries. The fragile unity began to unravel. The stage was set for a conflict that would have devastating consequences. Section 6. The Unraveling Yemen plunges into crisis. The Arab Spring of 2011 swept across the Middle East. Yemen, already teetering on the brink, was plunged into chaos. Protests erupted against the government of Ali Abdullah Saleh. He clung to power, but the situation spiraled out of control. Armed groups, fueled by their own agendas, exploited the turmoil. The Houthis, a Shia Muslim group from the north, seized control of the capital, Sana'a. Yemen descended into a full-blown civil war. Section 7. A Nation Held Hostage – The Proxy War in Yemen The conflict in Yemen is complex, deeply rooted in historical, political, and social issues that have plagued the region for decades. It is not simply a civil war, but a multifaceted struggle involving various factions and external influences. It is a proxy war, where local grievances are exacerbated by the involvement of powerful regional actors. Yemen has become a battleground for regional powers vying for dominance, each with their own strategic interests. Saudi Arabia, fearing the Houthis' alliance with Iran, intervened militarily, launching a campaign that has led to widespread devastation. They formed a coalition, backed by the United States, bringing in international military support to counter the perceived Iranian threat. Yemen became a pawn in a larger geopolitical chess game, with its fate being decided by external powers. Caught in the crossfire of a conflict not their own, the Yemeni people suffer immensely. The Yemeni people are the true victims of this proxy war, enduring unimaginable hardships and loss. Their lives and their future held hostage. They face a dire humanitarian crisis with limited access to basic necessities and medical care. Despite the efforts of international aid organizations, the scale of the crisis is overwhelming, with millions in need of urgent assistance. The path to peace remains uncertain, but the resilience and hope of the Yemeni people continue to inspire efforts towards a resolution. In the midst of chaos, there are glimmers of hope, as communities come together to rebuild and heal from the scars of war. Section 8. The Human Cost. A Catalog of Suffering. The conflict in Yemen has created one of the world's worst humanitarian crises. The statistics are staggering, the human cost immeasurable. Millions are on the brink of famine. Children are dying from preventable diseases. Hospitals and schools have been bombed. The conflict has displaced millions from their homes. They live in makeshift camps, lacking access to basic necessities. Their lives have been shattered, their dreams deferred. Section 9. A Glimmer of Hope. The Long Road to Peace. Despite the darkness, there are glimmers of hope. Ceasefires have been attempted, though often short-lived. Peace talks continue, albeit with much difficulty. The international community is increasingly aware of the plight of the Yemeni people. Aid agencies are working tirelessly to provide relief. The resilience of the Yemeni people is remarkable. Even in the face of unimaginable suffering, they hold on to hope. Hope for a better future. Hope for a day when peace returns to their land. Section 10. The World Watches. Yemen's Plea for Support. The crisis in Yemen is a global responsibility. The world cannot stand idly by as a nation crumbles, as millions suffer. The international community must pressure all parties to the conflict to end the violence, to engage in meaningful dialogue. Humanitarian aid must be increased. Access for aid organizations must be guaranteed. The world is watching. Yemen is a test of our humanity. We must not fail. 
Section 11, a shared responsibility, securing Yemen's future. The road ahead for Yemen is long and arduous, but there is hope. The human spirit, even when broken, can heal. Rebuilding Yemen will require a concerted effort from the Yemeni people themselves, from the international community. We must invest in peace. We must invest in development. We must invest in hope. Yemen's future hangs in the balance. Let us choose to act. Let us choose hope. Let us choose a future for Yemen.